What's up, everyone? Dust Bunny Avenger here from Slackers in the Cover, and Borderlands Game of the Year Enhanced version came out yesterday, and as many of you had issues with it, uh, we had tons of issues during the stream. We figured out a few things here and there, and we just wanted to share, because we had people asking from our community during our stream and Discord everywhere, like, one, how is your game working? How did you get the update? And why are you, you know, not having lag issues and stuff as much as we are? So, this is just a real quick and concise, this is how we fixed everything, alright? So, if you had Borderlands prior to yesterday, you should be due for the game of the year enhanced version. Um, now, your Steam probably was updated right here. You probably got the game of the year edition right there. And you're like, this, this, where's my, where's my legendaries, where's my everything, what's going on, I don't know, kind of thing. Uh, yeah, you have to actually initiate it. Uh, some people aren't getting it to initiate in the downloads, so the fastest way to do that is to pop over to this and type in steam colon slash slash install slash 729040. That is a uh, shortcut. It kicks your bootstrapper into gear, your bootstrapper being the program that deals with, you know, pulling installs and pulling information for updates and stuff kick that in the gear and actually get it into your downloads so once it downloads it's a 12.8 gig download with a 19 19.2 eh, gig install once that's downloaded and you're in you're good right no no you're not so uh there was a thing going on with us that we were having horrible horrible lag and we couldn't save the voice over IP, like the in-game voice, we couldn't turn off. We could mute it. However, when you mute it, uh, it's still transmitting. It's still trying to transmit. So if you have that issue, you won't save it, and you're not using it. Because we're using Discord. I mean, who's using in-game voice anymore? I mean, if you're picking with random people, all right. You, you may want to try moving it. Uh, there's a push to talk somewhere around here that you can turn on instead. But if not, if you're playing on Discord... Uh, pop over to the INI file uh, that is in C or whichever driver you use. Users, your profile name, mine, mine's Nate, hi. Documents, my games, Borderlands Game of the Year, Willow Game Config, Willow Engine.ini, open up your favorite notepad, I use Notepad. And control F down with has down to has voice right here, this one right here. B has voice enabled equals, and by default it should be true. So just change it over to false, capital F, save it, exit, you're good. Now, this just, it, it saves it, the option to the voice being off, if that's what you want. And, and trust me, if you're using Discord, that's what you want. Because one, if you're muting in-game, it, it's still transmitting the voice. It's still going to transmit the voice, even if it's muted, you're just not hearing it. And what the problem with that being is, it's going to cause your system to lag horribly. And uh, with four people running around together, it, it was bad. Three people, it was bad. Four people, it was horrible. So that's one fix for it. And of course, if anything, uh, as you saw on mine, because this is my second attempt at this quick, quick video, uh, I may have accidentally muted myself last time. You can always verify integrity of game files from your uh, properties, local files, verify. That's always an option to try that out. Now, one of the fixes we had that uh, it worked for uh, some friends we know is there's also go into your game options and set your frames, uh, frames, frames per second FPS limit to the same. And when I say the same, I mean all the people in your group set it to like 60 FPS, set it to 50 FPS, set it to, you know, somewhere it was, it's locked in a certain amount. Some reason I was helping people too. I don't know. I don't understand this game. I mean, you would think for a remaster, it would have so many less issues than it does. It's a remaster. I don't know what to say, guys. Seriously. Hey, we're going to give you guys a mini-map so you don't have to look at your map. What is this? What is that right there? What is that? <laughs> There's no mini-map. Sometimes your mini-map will just die. Sometimes your mini-map will show you the location of things that are already done in quests. So... Your friends are over here, running over here off the distance, and you're running to the left, and they're like, where are you going? I'm like, quest. We already did that. I can't tell. My quest, my quest marker says to go over air. So, yeah, there's that. Anyway, 
hopefully, if anyone has any issues, that this helps. It helps. And if not, I'm sorry. If you were unfortunate to get one of the bugs that was going on right now that uh, your game doesn't save, <laughs> I feel for you. I do. That was an issue that we had, so unfortunately I don't have any resolutions to it. Hopefully that's something that's fixed very soon on its own. Uh, otherwise, I, I don't know what to tell you. I mean, it, I, I don't know. That's something that shouldn't be happening, especially in a quote-unquote remastered version of the game. But what can you do? I uh, will have to see. Hopefully, everything is updated and fixed soon. Borderlands did tweet on the uh, the idea that some of the there was some issues going on with the game post launch. Um, so yeah, they're, they're usually on the ball with it. It'll probably be fixed within a week. But for now, anyone who's having issues, hopefully this helps out. I'm Dust Money. I'll talk to you guys later. See you around. Bye. I don't think it, it didn't end. It didn't end. I guess see you around again. Bye.